Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. It's strange how some biblical characters we've all heard of and know their stories. I mean, like every kid would know Zacchaeus or Joseph from the Old Testament or even Abraham. But other people in the Bible had equally powerful stories, yet we don't recognize their name or their story. For example, can you tell me anything about Asa? Before studying this, I could tell you that he was a king, and I would have guessed a good king over Judah, only because I have known people named Asa, and parents don't usually name their children after bad kings. Do you know anyone named Ahaz or Jezebel? And I would have guessed the king of Judah, because Israel never had any good kings. And I would have been right. 2 Chronicles 14, 2-3 says that Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. He even destroyed the altars of foreign gods and led the people back to the Lord. So God gave the kingdom peace for many years and the country prospered. When an Ethiopian army attacked... King Asa cried out, Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you, and in your name we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. For thirty-five years Asa followed the Lord. However, in year thirty-six, the king of Israel to the north invaded. Instead of going out against him with that same prayer on his lips, trusting God to be strong and rescue them as he had in the past, Asa took silver and gold from the temple treasury, sent it to Syria, and made a treaty with them so that they would attack Israel and Israel would leave Judah alone. This plan actually worked. Asa got what he wanted. But God wasn't pleased. He sent Hanani, a prophet, to remind Asa of what the Lord had done for him in the past and how wrong it was of him to rely on the Syrians to help them instead of their God. Hanani told him, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Now at this point, Asa should have confessed his sin and repented. But instead, he imprisoned the prophet and oppressed the people. Soon he contracted a disease. This was another chance for him to turn to the Lord and trust him. Instead, the Bible says, Yet in his disease he did not seek the Lord, but the physicians, and he died. Now this isn't a podcast telling you not to go to the doctor when you're sick. I don't think that's what the Bible is telling us either, though going to God first with any problem often makes outside help unnecessary. But the point is back in verse 9. God is constantly looking for those whose heart is fully His. And when He finds those hearts, He uses them to show everyone else who He is, like He did with Asa and the Ethiopians. Asa trusted the Lord, and he showed himself strong, a God worthy of worship and praise. But when we make up our own schemes to fix our own problems, like Asa did with Israel's invasion, our hearts aren't right. We don't give God the chance to show who he is through our faith. So, the next time God gives us an opportunity to use our faith and trust him with a problem, We need to give him the opportunity to show us and everyone around us how strong and powerful he is as he works in and through us. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. This fall, I'd like to start something new. 
I'd like to have each one of you, my listeners, to come on our podcast and share your favorite verse, your life verse, the treasure that means the most to you. Tell me why you chose it and how God has used it in your life to help you in your walk with him. So be praying about what you'd like to share and let me know.